Yeah, put us on mute. Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I need to make an announcement for a couple of uh, executive sessions we had. One was uh, to bring Ms. Vicky up, the new solicitor, Ms. Gusto, up to speed on the things that uh, happenings within a township. Uh, and another one was to uh, come together with our picks for a new manager for the township. And also the interviews. And also for the interviews. We did. We conducted several manager interviews as well. Uh, public comment? I have a public comment, I may. And just so everybody knows, Lisa is on the phone. She's She can hear us, hopefully. Lisa, you there? Yeah, I can hear you. Okay, perfect. Thank you. We're starting public comment. Okay, I'm just keeping you on mute. No problem. No problem. Oh, okay. Hang on a second. I forgot to start the day. Don't hit us. <laughs> <clears throat> Many of you already know me, but for the record, I'm Nicole, and I live on Salford Station Road. This morning, around 6 a.m., a post was made to the Upper Frederick Republican Committee Facebook group. It caught my eye because it was questioning the advertisement for this meeting. I, tip I typically avoid posting my opinions on the Facebook platform because I don't want to engage in the rhetoric or the slander that should be a true embarrassment to someone who is hiding behind that organizational name. This morning, my initial response was a little different, having known that the meeting was happening from the agenda that was on the township webpage. I could be helpful and I can add a photo. I tried to add a screenshot to the many array of photos that were already on the post, only to learn it wasn't allowed by the page owner. So I went ahead and I formulated a comment that I got blocked from the Facebook group no more than 10 minutes after posting. I was perplexed and I didn't understand how I could have said something that was viewed as so egregious or offensive that I was completely blocked from the content of the page. Tonight, in this public comment, I would like to read my Facebook comment because I'm truly offended that a political party essential to our very own democracy would choose censorship over free speech or debate. Regardless of anyone's political affiliation, we should all be entitled to free freely and openly. My comment read, the agenda for tonight's meeting has been on the town website. I tried to post a picture, but this group does not allow posts for pictures. The new website makes things a little harder to find, but it's a work in progress like all things. Considering Sean Frisco is still sitting on the board, he should know this, and he could have posted it to this page if he wanted to ensure notification without 24 hours minimum, which is the window that is required. Like mainstream media, it seems that only the, the only news posted is that that fits the agenda, which these days I question what that is. I'm sure my post will be blocked or hidden, but this town needs to pull together. And right now, I feel like you're intentionally trying to split it apart. Enough is enough. Sean is a senior member of this board, and he, of this board, and if he was a team player, he would assure that rookie mistakes were not made under his watch. Rather than pointing the finger, when they are, and acting like he's not sitting on the same board. It wasn't me, it was them. It's not a great defense. You too share the responsibility to this town to make sure things are done right. So that was taken down less than 10 minutes. Sean is obviously here, like the rest of us, because we received notification of this very important special meeting regarding recent staff resignations that put us on News Channel 6. I am appreciative of the board for calling this special meeting to quickly address the staffing issues leading up to the office being closed temporarily. I do have one more item I'd like to address, and that's Sean. Sean, if you are not willing to be part of the solution, then I perceive you as part of the problem within our township. 
and we've had many over the last few years. The Upper Frederick Rep Republican Committee Facebook page talks about elections having consequences and how Bill Landman and Lisa Fisher caused these problems and should resign. These problems do not suddenly appear in the few months that they have held these positions on the board. Sean, as a senior member of this board, even though you act like you're on an opposing board, I ask you to evaluate your true intentions for our community and whether it's more appropriate for the Upper Frederick Republican Committee to ask you to resign. Abstaining from votes, withholding information that could be critical to the decision-making process, not showing up for solicitor interviews, filing complaints that you are not notified about executive sessions, does not make you exempt from the wrongdoings. And personally, I think it diminishes both your character and your reputation. Great damage was caused by previous boards that you sat on, including but not limited to the ethical violations and conflict of interest. At the last meeting that I attended, you were accused of being part of an ethical violation by providing funds for the sale of a piece of farm equipment before it had been voted on. After these staff shortages have been addressed, I would like to see this investigated further. If you neglected to disclose information or were deceitful to the members of Upper Frederick, I would like to see you held accountable for your actions, just like my neighbor was, that they had to pay a $5,000 penalty to the Ethics Board. I would also like to understand why everyone is resigning. My opinion is because someone is getting pretty close to uncovering the truth about this little town of ours. Our own township manager admitted in a meeting to telling a developer to hold off on discussions of development plans until after the election. Who on the board at the time directed her to respond in that way? Did she often respond to inquiries without direction from the board? As the person we paid to write our town plan and be our manager, she could have benefited financially from additional housing. So maybe Upper Frederick was not the right fit for her. As a realtor for Cornerstone Realtors, specializing in both a residential and commercial realtor, Sean, you too benefit financially from more homes in our township. Our previous board member, who I see more of now in church and at Giant these days, had residents concerned about an ulterior financial motive since his ambulance company is the sole provider for our township. And the whole reason I got involved in small town politics, my neighbor, Hidden Creek Stock Farm, did financially gain from previous administration, which you, not Bill, not Lisa, but you, Sean, were a part of. I could go on, but I don't want to linger on the past. I just hope that during the executive session tonight, you talk to one another with decency and humanity and listen to each other even if you don't share the same opinion so that we can reach a unanimous resolution that doesn't benefit you as individuals, but our township as a whole. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, yes, ma'am. <coughs> so you guys just say your name and where you're from. Uh, Charles from. Taylor. I live on Ivy Lane down the road here. Okay. And while I'm sure there's a ton of people in this room, can you hear me? Yep. Who have been here longer than okay, me, but I've been you. here for 24 years. And over those years, I've had endless dealings, off and on, with the township, and virtually every time it has been a struggle. Almost always, I get what I need, but without a fight. Uh, I, I don't know, I don't have anything fancy like this to say, but what's happening here has been a long time coming. I have no idea what the future is going to bring. I really don't. I know that over the years, I know the township didn't want the development I live in, but ultimately the builder had his way. But every time I needed something, I can't even get the road plowed in front of my house. You guys can't even hire a plow driver. He comes down one side up against the curb. He comes down the other side and leaves me with four feet, two deep, two feet high in the road that I have to clear. I stopped him last, this one time we had snow. But every time I have to do that. 
who hires a driver they can't drive? Okay, uh, the builder built my house, it's three stories in the back. Sliding door off the kitchen, okay? I wanted to put decks on. I was told I couldn't do that until I pointed out to the board here, and I don't know if you were involved in it at all, it's been too many years for me. I pointed out, I said, well, you allow the builder to build a home with a sliding door to nowhere that if somebody steps out, they fall 25 feet straight down to the ground and hit trees in the woods. And all of a sudden, it was okay to build a deck. I mean, this kind of nonsense is crazy. I mean, it doesn't matter who's on this board as long as they represent us. I mean, I'm sorry that heads had to roll or whatever, but this has been a long time coming. Anyway, that's all I have to say. Any other public comment? <coughs> George Jones, I live on Clover Lane. <coughs> I, uh, I've been coming to the meeting since January. I've lived in the township for a little over 20 years. But my feelings on the local politics are twofold. You have phase one, which is campaigning and elections. Phase two is when you come in, people are appointed to positions, board positions, whatever it may be, and then you have your governance. It, and, and I think what I'm seeing is <clears throat> the, um, the elections didn't go down like many people wanted them to or expected them to. And it came as a real shock that Bill and Lisa were elected in, and they were elected in by the people. It's a highly Republican area. Uh, the Republican Party definitely had the political edge going into the election. Just so happens that Bill and Lisa managed to win, because I'll tell you why. They got votes from Republicans that weren't going along with things that were happening. Uh, they got votes from Democrats of course, we're going to have Democrats in our community, and then, of course, uh, independents. They got votes from every corner, a cross-section of the community. So their win, in my mind, was a really significant win that sent a message to the existing political people in power that they just didn't like the way they were being governed, and they wanted change. Everyone's accusing Bill and Lisa of uh, uh, making abrupt changes. They're not making abrupt changes. The people in the community want to change. They're the ones that voted Lisa and Bill in. And I stand behind what they're trying to do. And regardless of who gets voted in, the worst thing you can do is not back them because they're heading up our team. And the team that I'm representing are the people, the good people of uh, Upper Frederick. I could care less about Democrat, Republican. I'm a, a, a registered Republican. But I can tell you, when it comes right down to it, I'm more in line with my community and the people in the community. And I listen to my neighbors, I talk to my neighbors, and, and anyone that knows me says, oh, George, he'll strike up a conversation about anything. But the fact of the matter is, once elections happen, People are voted in, people win elections, people lose elections, but once, once everything's been decided, then you have to back whoever comes in. That's the right thing to do. Anything other than that is, is just, um, it's just plain simply not right. And I'll tell you another thing, I've been coming to the meeting since January, and I made a point to go uh, to the other meetings. Mr. Murray will tell you I went to Parks and Recreation, um, went to the Zoning Board, and I just wanted to see how, how people interacted. What, I, I, can, I can report back that everything was fine, but I can tell you the one place that it wasn't fine was this Board of Supervisors meeting. Every meeting, people get up and they, they wear it like a badge of honor that they can get up and disrupt things. Maybe try uh, figuring out what, what Bill and Lisa and, and Sean, too, are up to and back them. This is our community. And uh, to just sit there and put them down or accuse them of things, uh, it's just not right. It's, 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 not, it's, not, uh, it's not becoming of the people that we are. 
and I just feel embarrassed for the community that it was pretty much within this room and within the community. And then I turn, I come in from doing work out in the yard, and I come in. And I said, wow, I recognize that t thing on TV. Here it's the front door to the township building. Here we are on Channel 6. I mean, this is just beyond. And all I can do is suggest that uh, people have to check their egos and their politics at the door. And when they come in and they take their seat at the table, they get work done on behalf of the people of the township. And we as good members and citizens of the township should back them 100%. And if you, and if you don't back them, you'll see me during the meetings. I'll make comments or I'll make suggestions, but it's all in an effort to make it better. I'm not signing up with Sean. I'm not signing up with Bill. I don't know any of these people. But, you know, it just so happened that I started to come to the meetings and I, uh, I, I just think it's so unfair that people are doing everything possible to torpedo everything that they're trying to accomplish. And, 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 and it's just not right. It's not American. This is not, not, not the country I know. And um, I just wish that people would rethink their positions and, and, and don't be so quick to blame the other guy. Sometimes when you lose in life, you have to turn inward and look at what you're doing yourself and say, what did I, what could I have done differently? What could I, what, what could I, uh, what, what, what could I have done? And not always be quick to condemn the other person that you're competing against. It's just competition. We win, we lose. That's the way it happens. That's life. And um, I just wish that people would just kind of keep the emotions down and just kind of get behind it. We're, we're a good, nice rural community and, and people are good people from one end to the other. And we have very, very little negative that goes on. And I would just say, let's try to maintain that and build forward with, with the thought in mind that we want to uh, make a better community. And, you know, just stop all this crazy infighting and the politics are over. We're, we, we need to get down to work and get things done. So that's about all I have to say. Any other public comment? We tell me try other one night for road. Sitting here, now I was auditor for this township for six years. I kind of got thrown into it for two years, reelected, whatever else. Um, and you know my husband. Sitting here listening to everybody, and I mean everybody, okay? You just started going to meetings this year. You've been here for 20 years. What did you do before that? You, I have no clue how long you've lived in the township. How long have you lived in the township? In 13 years? Yeah. A lot of us have lived here a lot longer, okay? A lot of us don't know our neighbors. Now, being that y'all have lived here a long, long time, um, a lot of years, have any of you ever volunteered to do anything for the township? Have any of you ever volunteered to do anything with the fire department? Have any of you done any civil service in the political world? And I'm talking politics. I don't care if you're Republican. I don't care if you're Democrat. I don't care. But how many of you in this room can honestly say that you've done that? Now, I think we've all voted. No, you're speaking for every. Wait, wait. Hey. Wait. Excuse me. We're going to have a public comment. And you're speaking for everybody, okay? Not, you can speak for yourself. Not everybody in this room, okay? I guarantee not everybody has done it, okay? I don't see anybody jumping up and down volunteering with the fire company because everybody thinks they've got to run into a burning building. I've been around the block <laughs> quite a bit, especially my family. I've been around politics all my life. All my life. And the thing is, the one thing that I do know about this township is Whenever there was Board of Supervisors, didn't matter whether they were Democrat, Republican, didn't matter what you ran. 
you did the work, you got along, and you did what you had to do. You didn't bash anybody, which you just did. I you're, you're, I did, wait, 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 let's not have finger pointing please at other I'm objects. just saying, the thing is, you guys are saying we all got to get along, we all got to, got but all I hear from everybody, especially, com you know, I don't care who it is, y'all are sitting here bashing. You're still bashing. You're still bashing each other. It doesn't matter. You're still not getting along. Where have you been? Because I haven't Wait. seen you in meetings. Let's just, I I look, we're not going to have a back and forth. Everybody's going to have a chance to give their public comment. This isn't going to be time for discussion. If you guys want to discuss, enter the meeting, please. We need to keep Thank things you. moving. Thank you. But the thing is, y'all want to get along, everybody get along. Everybody help each other. And stop pointing fingers at each other. Because this one did this and this one did that. And that. Stop it. Y'all got to get along. Everybody's got to support each other. And that's not what's going on in this room. At all. With anybody. So that's all I have to say. That's what I see sitting here for, what, 10, 15 minutes? That is what I see. Maybe you all ought to think about volunteering somewhere. Maybe you all ought to think about if there's open positions, why don't you get on the board? Because that's what happened. That's what happened to me. That's how I became an auditor. I was asked. But the thing is, I don't see anybody jumping up and down, going to you know, volunteer their time for these other positions that are even open. Maybe you all ought to think about that. You all want to help each other. Do something to help each other. That's all I have to say. Any other public comment? Yes. Dave Garlish, live on Becker Road, across from the horse farm. So, I'm going to say 85% of the faces in, in this room, I have never seen in a meeting before. I've been a resident in the township since 1992. My wife has lived here since 1967. And I can tell you, for all the years I've been here, up until the past about six months, it's never been a circus like this, ever. Everybody did what they were supposed to do. I don't know where you all came from. I'm glad you're here. But, and I've never seen such an administrative travesty where both uh, administrative personnel have resigned. There's got to be a reason. What's the reason they resigned? Bill, you want to answer that? It's a public comment, Dave. Okay. This is your floor. Have, have your minute here. Well, I would like to know why they resigned. Why are we talking about having a public trash service? You know, when you make it so that there's no open business, that trash company can guarantee you the best rate for the first year, and then they want more money. When you have multiple trash carriers and you get to pick and choose, that's capitalism. That's when things are right. That's all I got. I appreciate that. Anybody else? <clears throat> no other public comment. 